Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sherry Lisa here. And in today's video, I'm just doing like this feels and looks kind of glam, but to be honest, it's like an everyday look. But I minimized some things you will see in the voiceover. Um, I've seen the before and I will post the after. I just want to say that I've had the makeup on for at least like 15 minutes now and I really, really, really enjoy the final look. But more than the final look, I really enjoy how makeup looks 10 or 15 minutes after things have really just sat on the face because I sprayed before I did my highlight and I was like, whoa, um, even though this pimple is prominent, <laughs> um, the rest of the look really came together and I just like that it just everything just flow. I feel like I'm giving you a Miami glow. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and share, and I will see you guys next time. Why do I do this? I'm a teeny in a bottle, Alright guys, let's just jump into it. So I have already done my skincare routine prior to me recording this video, so um, I probably have had it on at this point maybe an hour or two, somewhere in between that, and so I like to re-moisturize my face. Um, the Marc Jacobs Youth Quake uh, Hydro Full Retexturizing Gel Cream is what I'm putting on. I like this underneath. Um, look, if you have a matte look, I think this is very hydrating to have underneath, but by itself, I will pass. And then I put on the hydrating... Uh, milk makeup grip primer you do need about a minute for that to dry and so that's why I did my brows as you can see me getting started um I have such a interesting routine of my brows that I do want to do a separate video for that and another one I want to do like an updated one even though essentially it hasn't changed I do want to talk about the products that I use um in terms of my brows you know I like I like a party of a pencil a powder the um <laughs> what am i using the uh, brow gel and all that good stuff so I'll, i will talk about that but right now i'm cleaning underneath my brows with a little bit of the fenty beauty um concealer in the number 385 i really like this i've liked it even more i'm carving out the brows at this point um and zooming you in but i've liked it more since it's gotten a little bit old i don't know if anyone has that experience sign off in the comments below if you have sometimes i like what ma makeup after it's been open it kind of sets and it becomes its own thing because this concealer does sort of remind me of nars but um, it's more on the creamier but drying side if that makes sense and I feel like it's easier for me to play with and use my fingers It's probably one of my favorite concealers of all time um, I know there's a lot of mixed reviews out there But I think that it really works well and so this pencil that I've used on my brows as you can see the really long one is the Benai eyebrow pencil in the color black black brown EP7 I've had this for quite some time, <laughs> I'm looking at the expiration date on it. It says 30 months, um, which is well over, what, two, less than three years, basically. Um, it's a great product. I think with my hair being so black, I don't always like um, a black pencil or a dark brown pencil. And as you can see, I am devastated because my Kat Von D um, Dimension Powder in the color Walnut just broke. And so I'm moving on from that and not being so frustrated. Now I'm doing a little bit of concealer. Um, it's the same 385 from Fenty Beauty. Um, essentially what I'm doing on my face is using concealer instead of foundation. During quarantine, one of the things that I've loved um, since I'm not doing makeup is, you know, I do have some dark spots that I'm still working with that are not as bad, but sometimes I just want my skin to just have one solid color and I used to rely heavily on foundation for that but foundation never really matched me and um, I definitely have um, a party going on with my face in terms of different skin tones especially with the summer and so I tan very easily and so I'm using my morphe brush it's a small little brush I love it it's one of my favorites um, a lot of my friends use this as concealer or actually uh, it's the morphe e8 one of my friends uses it as a cream contour and I think it's perfect for that but I like it for my face because I don't feel like I have a huge face and I don't need a big brush um, and so I'm just using the 385 from Fenty on spots that I want to conceal a little bit and then I do go in with the NARS um, medium slash dark three amand uh soft matte complete concealer i've had this for a long time i really need to throw it away but it's one of my favorites i like to clean up my mustache and get any like redness or dark spots or even if the mustache is growing through to cover it as you can see i do not put this concealer on my whole face because obviously it's not foundation but a little bit goes a long way i like to mix um using the brush 
with the sponge as you will see in just a minute. I like that um, the brush could be, gives me a little bit of an airbrush and so I kind of play and move with it a little bit and then I will go in with the sponge and really press it into the skin. Um, this is nice if you are going out maybe on a date or you maybe you still are going out to work you know in the middle of the pandemic and you want to you know you want a little bit of a beat and so um as you can see i'm sort of focusing on the middle of my face where i get a lot of lightness and where it, you can see that i'm not tan and so that's where i feel needs the most um help and so that's what i'm working on is pressing this in i know as i even as i'm watching this and i'm talking to you guys i feel like my face looks a little ghostly but everything ends up coming together you know that's the thing about makeup it's just you gotta really just wait it's a process um and i do adjust the lighting just because um when you have a ring light sometimes you don't get the full visual and it's nice to just kind of get a reality and then i set my entire face with the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish and the number three it's one of my favorites the holy grail i'm definitely hitting pan on that i do want to find another powder but um the thing about having a youtube channel and being a makeup lover sometimes you get curious about certain things and so i know i can go to that i do want to see what other kind of powders are out there um and then i take a big brush just to make sure that everything's evenly spread out and so um essentially what i'm doing is adding some dimension which is some bronzer so that i look very tan this is the contour color from the cover effects perfected perfected face palette in the medium deep um the contour is just called shadow um as i i am looking at myself in the mirror and on the camera to see which one is really doing it for me i switch it up between two brushes so i have this morphe m 553 brush that I use on my forehead um, and then I go in with this um, Luxie brush 512 it's a small contouring I don't believe in contouring because I don't feel my face is big enough for that and I don't I like I think I have really nice cheekbones I like my nose and I like my forehead so I think what happens is that I enjoy putting back where things are in terms of my face of like making my nose look a little bit so with powder and with a concealer sometimes I will just lose the shape of my face and so I just like to have something that brings it all back and so as you can see there um, my favorite brightening powder is from Kylie it's the pressed perfecting powder in the color you're perfect they only have one I really wish that there was another one um, because the streets need that <laughs> Um, and I like that with every look, it never gets too bright underneath my eyes. It's just enough. And then I like to set my brows with the Gimme Brow. This is number five. Um, it's my fave. I don't need a lot of it. I just really like this to set my brows. Another way that I like to, do, to use this is to use this first and then fill in my brows. I kind of get more of a perfect brow that way, but I wanted to fill mine in just because I knew I was going to be taking pictures and I just want a little bit of definition and I want to drink my water as you can see me. Make sure to just hydrate, especially with some lemon to get out that fat, whatever greasy thing. Right? So I like to check out my makeup. Sorry about my bra. <laughs> And so I'm going into my makeup. So I wanted to get a little bit darker because it didn't feel like it was matching. And so I have the Kylie um, Brow. No, sorry. The Kylie Pressed Bronzing Powder in the color Tawny Mommy. I like this. I don't use it as much just because I don't want to repurchase this. So I really take my time with it. Um, using it because in the summer it's perfect but come winter it's a little bit too much for me like I don't I want to look like I left Miami or Barbados or Jamaica but I don't always want to look like I left there and so I do like it I'm using my favorite pencil from Marc Jacobs in the color black year this is the high liner gel I love this a lot in a few minutes you will see me add a little bit of the contour color um, underneath to set it and I'm using the Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara. I have a love-hate feeling for this. I love the brush, but I don't really care for the actual formula. I do have to clean it off on a tissue to really get the way I want, but the brush is really perfect. It's my ideal brush. Check myself out. Zoom in, zoom out. I'm loving the look. I love the cat eye. I kind of just gave myself. And then I'm putting on some blush. I end up actually mixing all three of these. This is the Alamad Cosmetics Color Rep Blush Duo. Um, I did Candela and Deserted and Oasis. A little bit of Oasis. It definitely gave me like 
I felt a little clownish, but I love blush, so I always have to tone it down. Um, and then I am using the Motor Bro Pro pointed brush um, that I received, I think, in a boxy charm a couple years ago. And so I felt like I put a little bit too, too much blush on. And so I used my favorite powder, which you guys all know. It's a Demi Blend Loose Setting Powder. And the original, um, just to clean it up. Um, and then I cleaned my lips. Um, I had a little bit of the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. Um, it's very moisturizing. And then the <laughs> final product, basically, on my lips is my favorite lip liner, which is the color brown. It's NYX Lip Liner. I love lining my lips with this. And then I go in with this Kat Von D lipstick. I have no idea where this Kat Von D lipstick is, like what the name of it is. I'm going to try to list it in the, all the products that I use on my face will be listed in the description bar. Um, open it up and see what's out there. Um, I have no idea what this color is. I've had it for a while and so... Um, hopefully I'll be able to find it. If not, I feel like it's one of those classic, maybe like Ludwig or something. Um, but w the way that I really achieve, achieve this like perfect brown girl nude for me is by using a brown liner. But I also went in with a pencil. Um, I've had this brush from Everest. It's from BH Cosmetics. It's basically a lip brush and it helped me blend it in without using my finger or without using my lips because sometimes I'll blend in and then my lips will look very muted and I don't really like that like deathly stare kind of look and so I go back and forth between the brown liner um, and not putting on any more product and just blending it in I do put a little bit of the NARS orgasm lip gloss that I received a while ago it's really really nice it's on the pinkier side and I feel like that helped it blend and of course I had to use my favorite 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 lip gloss which is the color pop um so juicy plumping gloss and the color she's here it's so pretty i feel like that really brings the lip together and then i sprayed my face and as you can see i put on the concealer um sorry i put on the highlight from the cover effects palette and it wasn't giving me the look that i was going and so basically i went in with a classic which is the champagne pop from becca and then i was satisfied with the entire look she's Hello. Are you ready for this jelly? I didn't think so. Finito. Is it good? If you guys could see my nipple, there's one that's like. Put them up. I really, really, really like this. This is. That's actually what this is. It's like a look I could go for all the time. I do feel like this is a little bit too much blush, so I just like to bring in the highlights so they can all blend, and then I'm like, then I'm satisfied, and then I'm satisfied. There's absolutely nothing on this brush. I just want to make sure there's no creases because I think there's nothing worse than um, greasy eyelids. Like. There's too many tutorials out there, sis, for you to have to reset it. 